Now, like many of you, we love Apple. But the love is gone for a little bit with the release of the new MacBook Pro. Oh my, what was Apple thinking? Remove all the ports a Pro needs. Why? We love HDMI. We love USB. And of course, Thunderbolt, yeah, it's workable. And we, of course, love the card reader. What were you thinking? Getting out a card reader for a professional laptop. Come on, Apple. It's smaller, it's lighter, it runs shorter on a battery, it has problems, but we still love the laptop. Well, at least Anawig does, because she bought the 13-inch. And in all honesty, it's still a great laptop. If you like the circus, and I mean the dongle circus. Now, okay, guys, <laughs> let's be honest. It's not that bad, but actually it is. Let me explain. So, as a professional, we move around a lot. And that means that we need a card reader, we need HDMI, because everywhere where I teach workshops, I of course need to plug into HDMI. Now, we already are used to dongles, because in some places there's still VGA or DVI, so we always travel with dongles, so that's no problem at all. But still, it's a little bit crappy that Apple took out all the connectors we really need. So, if you don't want to work with dongles, you need to find something else. And on the road, dongles are okay. Although, in all honesty, the HDMI dongle gave us a lot of headaches because sometimes the video just quits. And you have to take the dongle out, dongle in again, and it works. If you have that same problem, you know what I'm talking about. And that's ridiculously, stupendously, frustratingly, and whatever word you can think for it. So you need something that's way more stable. On the road, we still have to find something, but for the office, we really found something cool. Now, docks you can buy in many, many sizes, but most of all, many, many prices. And most prices are pretty cheap because everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. I have this dock for the new MacBook Pro. This is the final dock you're gonna buy. The problem is they took so many ports off and most docks don't have all the ports. Like for example, you have docks that only have VGA, but no card reader. You have docks that have HDMI, USB, but no card reader. You have docks that have a card reader. You know, the list goes on and on. So you have to have two docks in my opinion, one for on the road and one for in the office. Now, Anna Week took away her iMac, Pro, uh, her iMac sorry, and put in her MacBook Pro. So she's now working on the MacBook Pro. And at first, everything was cool. It's like a marriage. You're married, you have fun, and everything's great. And then slowly from the office, I heard some disturbing noises, like, no, HDMI is gone again, and she had to put the dongle in and out. Or, oh my, if I have my card reader in there, I can't put my power in anymore because the card reader is a little bit too thick. We almost ordered a certain dock that you actually click on your MacBook Pro. And then we realized, uh-oh, what if we use, for example, Anawik's favorite brand, Specs? Specs, if you're looking at this, where's the new case for the new MacBook 13 inch? We're waiting for a long time. Come on, guys, we love you. So, if you have a Specs case on it, will that still fit? We didn't want to take the risk. So we looked online, and one of the brands that's, of course, very, very well known with you guys is OWC. And we ordered this one in space gray. That's such a sexy, sexy color. Wow. So the OWC USB-C dock. Now, first off, you have to realize this is a USB-C dock. Now, why is that important? It's not a Thunderbolt dock. So some people online will claim like, oh, it doesn't work. I put my Thunderbolt hard drive on here. Uh, how the hell can you put a Thunderbolt hard drive on here? I know, you use the dongle, right? From Thunderbolt to USB-C. That won't work, guys. This is a USB-C device. Now, some people online claim never ever buy a USB-C dock because it's not Thunderbolt 3. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the problem is because USB-C has like more than enough bandwidth for using what's on this dock. And that's actually USB-C, USB 3.1, HDMI, gigabit network, and a card reader. So you have more than enough space on your USB-C port to power all the devices. And this is the dock that we actually ended up with, and I absolutely love it, and I'm going to show you. On the front, you have, of course, the logo, the SD card slot reader, which is pretty fast. You have the headphone jacks, and 
you have a high powered USB connector. Now why is high powered very important? If you want to charge your iPhone or your iPad or any other device, it's very important that if your computer goes to sleep, that port still gives power. And this one does. The other ones on the back, they will actually power down when your computer goes to sleep, which is my preferred setting because I don't want those devices to stay on. Of course you have the USB 3, you have an extra USB-C and you have the one in which you connect it to your computer. Make sure you put that cable in the right port because otherwise the dock won't work. You have gigabit internet, sorry, Ethernet. Now why is that important? First of all, Wi-Fi is great and nowadays Wi-Fi can be very, very fast, but it's still Wi-Fi. So it's better to have a wired connection, especially if you have a really fast internet or you're working with a NAS, it's always important to have that connector. Now I get it that a laptop doesn't have a NIC anymore, or sorry, a solid connector, because those connectors are pretty big. So using a dongle for that is no problem at all, but having it on a dock is in my opinion vital. So make sure if you get a dock, it has this one. And the other thing of course, HDMI. Now it looks pretty nice, right? With the space, great, it looks incredibly sexy. I love the shiny surface, keep it clean. And it has these little feet on the bottom, so it sits really nice on your desk, so you don't move it around easily. It feels really solid, not like some other docks that literally when you throw it in the air, they will go down like this because they're so lightweight. This really feels like a solid piece of gear. There's only one thing, this is really an office dock. So when I'm traveling, this dock will not be the dock that I will take with me. In the office, this is without a doubt my choice for a dock. So if you're like us, and you work mostly in the office with one computer, get the OWC dock. Because this is literally stunning for in your office. Very high quality and it just works. If you're traveling, we still have to find something else. So we're going to do another, quite frankly, about that very soon, I hope. Now, why don't I travel with this? And that's actually the only point of critique I have on this dock. This is the power brick. And it's pretty big. So in all honesty, for the office, no problem at all because, well, we have plenty of room. But when traveling, I like something a little bit smaller. Okay, so Enwick tried this dock out on her MacBook Pro. And the first day she already came up to me, she said, Frank, I'm so incredibly happy with this dock for the very simple reason. I never lost HDMI during a whole day of work. This dock? performed flawlessly. HDMI works, the card reader is fast, she has a lot of USB stuff on it and it all works. She can charge her iPhone and Wick is really happy with it. I tried it out on my Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. Same performance, really great. So, you get what you pay for. You can get a very, very cheap dock, but expect very, very cheap performance. If you spend a little bit more, and this is not an insanely expensive dock, it's about 190 euros. So it's still a lot of money, but I think when you look at the docks, it's somewhere not at the high end, not at the low end, a little bit in the middle end, because you can pay a lot of money for docks. So make sure to check them out, OWC, the USB-C dock, highly, highly recommended. In fact, we're going to give it two thumbs up. So this is me coming into the office, this is my laptop, I plug in my USB hub and this one is my power of course and on the other side I have a dongle for HDMI and this is, this is my hard drive, I think I'm going to use my hard drive today. So I open my laptop up and it doesn't work immediately, the screen stays black. And also, uh, my mouse is working because it's Bluetooth, but I cannot type. So what I have to do is unplug the HDMI, plug it in again, takes a while, and there it is. The same thing with my USB hub, because I have my printers, I have my, um, my uh, time machine, everything is on my hub. I have to unplug it and replug it and then I can use my keyboard. If I want to use my card reader, I have to think really carefully which one I'm gonna lose. Um, 
it's probably the power and then it doesn't it doesn't quite fit you see because it's too thick I cannot plug it in then I'll lose my keyboard I can also not lose my HDMI or my hard drive because I want to copy it to the hard drive so that's a real problem and you have a Thunderbolt hard drive, right? And that's I why it's not in the dock. Yeah, and I also have my network cable. Um, but if I lose power, I can plug it in over there. But it's 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 really... In other words, it's really juggling with dongles. Yeah, yeah. And making the right decisions at I the right to moment. I use my dongle from my hard drive because this is a, a network to Thunderbolt. Or I should buy a network to USB-C. So that's really hard. Okay, let's solve all your problems in a week and let's put in the OWC dock. So now we installed the USB uh, C dock from OWC and uh, this is what it looks like in reality. On pictures it's, it looks much smoother and neater but this is this is what it looks like. They somehow make cables disappear like magic on those yeah, images. Yeah, wireless cables and, and stuff. So yeah. now I come, I place my notebook here, I plug in the USB-C connector and it's it works immediately just takes a few seconds <laughs> you see there it is and I have my USB uh, ports free to plug in my hard drive which was Thunderbolt but there's an adapter for USB-C great so now you don't have to worry about the dongle circus anymore no this one can all go away you know how expensive those are? Yeah, I have some for sale. Do you need some, Frank? <laughs> or anybody else? So you're happy with your old WC yeah, dock? Yeah, this is a great solution. Much better than all the dongles. Awesome. Especially when I was at home at night and I wanted to do something. Oh, I forgot my dongle. Or my power. Or well, That's the cool thing about this uh, USB-C dock. It's also like a power unit. Yeah. So I don't have to bring my power adapter home and to the office all, all day long. And when you close your laptop, it actually also charges your iPhone. It does, yeah. Great. So, OWC, highly recommended also by Anuik. Thumbs up, yes. Thumbs up, awesome. Thing.